Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Someone's keeping something a secret. I feel like they're making some kind of plan actually. They're making a plan to leave something behind or maybe they're just trying to sneak out. I feel like this person is really sick and tired of being away from you, okay? Um, and I'm getting the sense that they're about ready to approach. I'm, I'm also picking up on a karmic individual that's kind of following this masculine around. They may not even realize it. They could be getting followed um, on their way to work. They could be followed by this karmic when they go to the store. I feel like they're being followed around. So they're trying to make some kind of plan to escape from this karmic, maybe even just for a little while so that they can come and talk to you, which I don't like that energy. I feel like they just need to be honest for crying out loud. If they want another chance with you um, or they want to free themselves from this karmic so bad, I feel like they need to be honest. They're looking for some kind of chance to get away, okay? And they've got to think this through, you know? They're using their head. Um, they've got to, they're doing this like strategically. They're looking for any kind of chance to get away from this karmic. But they're keeping it all a secret, how they feel, right? Yeah, look. And I feel like this karmic is watching them really closely maybe that's why this person is having to um, make a secret plan and wanting to escape okay she's also watching you whatever you're putting online look this is the world and the star i feel like you are in the public eye um you're stepping through a portal here uh, to a whole new phase in your life so you're closing out a cycle you're starting a new one you could have your own platform on YouTube. You could have um, a blog. You could have a website. You could just be posting on social media, that kind of thing. But um, she's watching you. She's watching this, this masculine. She's heavily monitoring the situation. She feels like, um, what, are, what are they called, a jail matron, <laughs> right? A, a, a jail guard something like that i'm i'm getting the sense that she's trying to maybe pressure your person into an engagement a full-on wedding or marriage or commitment that's what she really wants she wants to get this masculine stuck with her um, for life but the masculine just wants to come towards you okay yeah i feel like um this uh, this divine masculine is like, I, I've got to think of something. They're, they know they're going to have to pull off some kind of magic trick. I, I'm getting the sense that they're sneaking away from this karmic, okay? It's definitely a karmic situation. And I feel like um, this karmic is very, um, she feels very threatened. She's intuitive. She can sense that this masculine wants to leave her behind. For you, this is their wish fulfillment. So this masculine's trying to manifest. They're planning something behind the scenes, I'm telling you. And they just want out. They're like, what have I done? What have I done? I feel like this person's trying to be someone that you can trust again. You trusted them at one point, but they broke your trust. Even if they do break away from this karmic and come towards you, you may not, um, you may not want to talk to this person again after what they've done, okay? But man, they're wishing for you. This is wish fulfillment, okay? This is um, possibly they could even be praying for divine intervention, okay? Please just give me a lucky break, right? That's what they're hoping for is a lucky break somehow where they can slip away and talk to you without um 
without getting this, you know, um, getting this karmic involved, without the karmic knowing it. Yeah, they're about to take some kind of risk here. <laughs> okay. They're about to take a heavy risk. See, if this masculine come t comes towards you, this karmic is going to follow them right to your door. And they know this. They're trying to finagle away so that this karmic doesn't follow them or doesn't even know that they're coming towards you. But see, if they come towards you in that energy, you're not going to accept them back anyway. If this person wants to be somebody that you can trust, they need to be honest. They need to come to you legit. All right? And single. And not just sneaking around. If they sneak around to come towards you, that's showing you that, they, that you really can't trust this person. They're, they're very emotional right now. They're stuck in a karmic storm. This karmic is, seriously, she's like breathing down the back of their neck, all right? She feels very threatened. She knows that they're about to try to escape, <laughs> all right? Yeah, but they've, this masculine feels like they've got to do something. They've got to talk to you. This is a lot of communication because they're in love with you, Collective. They're realizing this. If, if they can't stop thinking about you and they want to reach you this bad to make some kind of, you know, great escape from the karmic, um, they're in love with you. They know this. Honestly, I don't even, I don't see your energy out here um, besides this world card and this star energy. You're, um, they're watching you on the internet. You've healed. They can feel you disconnect. I can feel you're disconnecting. Um, and you're, you're releasing here. See these flowers? You could have been in separation from this person up to maybe five years. And you're just like, I'm done. If they're still with the karmic man, I am done. I'm not waiting for this person anymore. And they know it. They can sense it. They're drowning in their emotions right now. This to me is like King of Cups energy. They're trying to keep it well hidden. I feel like this person, um, they like sit in a bathroom, right, and cry. Or they lock themselves in a room and cry, right? They're, they're uncontrollable tears here, but they can't allow this karmic to see this, right? That's what they're thinking. I feel like this person just needs to confess to everybody how they're feeling, okay? Yeah, look, all they're doing is crying over you, watching you and crying. That's what this person wants to do every day. They want to watch what you're doing, and they want to cry because they know they missed out on an, an opportunity at a major blessing here. And I feel like this karmic knows, she full well knows that this person is not in love with her. But yet she's trying to trap them into a commitment. Yeah, I feel like they're ready to pop. Look at how bug-eyed panicked they are. Um, they could be trying to psychically communicate with you, telepathically communicate with you. You may be picking up on this person's energy. I'm also seeing this red eye thing, so th this person could be numbing a lot. They're in a lot of pain. Uh, they could be doing some drinking, some substance abuse. And they're watching you get your wishes fulfilled. They're watching you. They're, I feel like this person knows that you're very intuitive. They know that you're very powerful. And they know that you can probably pick up on, on their telepathic communication. So they're energetically really shouting out for you. Uh, maybe they want your attention and you're not giving it to them because you're focused on other things right now. You're in the energy of receiving right now. So you're starting to see all your blessings rolling in. Okay, whatever you want. You want a red drum set? Spirit's bringing it in for you, you know? Um, it's that kind of thing. You're, you're getting your wishes fulfilled. So they know if you can manifest this powerfully and you're this intuitive, 
um, you can possibly hear them when they're talking to you. I feel like this person tries to talk to you telepathically, like they'll sit down, right? They'll sit down, they'll meditate, and they'll be like, um, collective, please hear me, right? Please hear me, collective, please feel this, I want to talk to you. Um, you know, but what is that doing for you? It's not doing anything for you. It's not, it's not helping them. They actually need to tell the truth. Okay. I, I, for some reason, I feel like they were trying to like buy themselves some time or something, but now they're getting a lot of pressure to get married to this karmic. See, you're focused on other things. You're no longer going to focus on no telepathic communication. What what does that doesn't help anybody? You're focusing on things that are going to make you happy, and they can feel that. Now your attention is completely off of them. I feel okay, and this is making this person want to come towards you even faster. You may even be dating somebody new or you could be entering into the dating scene right they may know that if you oh, if you were to get a new love offer this person would be jealous i feel like they already are they're feeling possessive they're feeling jealous they're feeling envious and worried okay a lot of anxiety and tears from this person um they think that you may be um, keeping something a secret yourself. They think that maybe you're seeing somebody new and you're not saying anything about it. You know, um, and honestly, you have every right to do that because this person left you behind for this karmic. You know, so, yeah. And this is coming out in reverse. They don't know what to do. They feel absolutely lost. I, I, I'm getting that you've been a guide. You've been this this shining little light here for this person this whole time through the darkness. And now they're losing you. They're losing their healer. They're losing their star. They're losing the person that they're madly in love with, like for real. Um, yeah, it's almost like you're just leaving their life. And they can't forget about you. They can't forget how you made them feel. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I kind of, I'm kind i kind of getting that this person wants you to forget everything that they've done to you in the past and just try to trust them. They want to be someone you can trust, but then they have to prove themselves worthy of that trust. They have to defend this connection. They've got to take a stand for you and what they want, and they need to speak their truth. They can't have both of you, you know. Um, they don't even want this karmic anymore, and they certainly don't want to keep getting pressure to marry them. So this person needs to do the right thing. They need to act with integrity. They need to break free. They need to be honest, okay? And this person feels absolutely lost without you. They can't seem to get your attention, okay? They may have sent you like a text message or a voicemail or something like that, and you haven't gotten back to them. I'm getting that as well. You could be a Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Your person could be a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe. Yeah, look at this. I feel like they've been doing a lot of numbing, a lot of heavy drinking, or maybe dabbling in some kind of substance, okay? Just to try to numb the pain. This person is keeping this all inside. Their feelings for you, um, the truth, uh, their, their anxiety, their frustration, their fears, their jealousy, they're keeping it all inside, trying to hide it, okay? I feel like they're not acting right at all. They're very grumpy. They walk around grumpy. They kind of hate their life right now. 
They feel very stuck. But I'm telling you, they're about to pop, okay? Their, their conscience is screaming at them. You know, uh, take action, do the right thing, that kind of thing. Um, let me get some mixed emotions on this one. Yeah, see, they want to be somebody that you can trust. Okay, they broke your trust in the past. Now they, they want you back. But this person is going to have to put in some kind of effort, you know, to prove that you can trust them again. All right. Well, what is this person feeling? Sad. Dejected. Unhappy. They hate their life. Um, I feel like this is that risk that they're about to take with feeling very vulnerable, okay, unprotected, helpless. Um, I feel like they're about to take a very vulnerable risk and come towards you to communicate because they just quite simply, they can't keep it all inside anymore, okay? They could be facing like a karmic storm right now, too, with all the chaos. Yeah, see, I feel like this person is about to take the risk, and they're about to approach you. Um, this could be communication that you were once trying to manifest in, because I feel like this is something that you could have manifested before, and it's just coming in now. All right? Um, they want to come towards their empress. You're, you're going to start to see everything in like the last couple years that you've been wishing for, that you've, that's been on your mind heavy. You're going to start to see these things coming towards you. If you've been thinking about this person heavy, especially within the last year or something, okay, or the last several months, I'm telling you, along with, with your other wishes that you've manifested, this person is coming in to talk to you as well. I feel like you wanted answers, you wanted communication, you wanted some kind of closure. Okay, well, you're about to get that. They are about to take this risk and come in. Okay, you, you manifested this. Um, this person, they, may, they don't know how they're going to do it. Okay, they just don't want you to go. Okay, um, you're leaving them behind. Now, they may, they may send you a text message, they may give you a phone call. They may um, send you a letter, okay, if you're not picking up the phone. They may be trying to plan a way to pop up on you in public if you're out and about. This person's looking for any way to come back in, okay? If they were to see you in public, they would rush right up on you. I don't think this person would be able to hold themselves back at this point. Uh, I feel the only thing that's holding them back is this karmic. You know, they're depressed, right? This is that numbing. It says numb here. They're feeling empty inside. They're praying for divine intervention. They're angry with themselves, angry at the situation, trying to figure out a creative way to express themselves because they know they need to be honest and tell the truth. This person is fearful that when they do reach out and, well, when they do talk to the karmic and give her the truth, that there's going to be a huge fight. But here's the thing. I, I feel like, um, yeah, this person is getting their confidence. They're getting the strength to come in and talk to you. They may even bring you a gift, something like that. But they, I feel like this person wants to prove to you that they can be someone you can trust. And even though... They're, they're, they're sneaking away from the karmic somehow to come and talk to you, right? This is a desperate move. They may be wanting to come in to see if the, you'll even give them another chance. But I feel like this person needs to come towards you single. They're not, they're not coming in the right way. And uh, even though they want you to trust them again, they want to be someone you can trust. How can you trust something like that? They're already sneaking around just to come and talk to you. 
they're going to tell you that they're, yeah, they're bored where they are. They're, um, I feel like this person, like I said, they, they close themselves in a separate room just to think about you. Okay. Um, and they want to choose a new path. This is what they're going to tell you. They don't like it where they are. They're unhappy without you. They're not, they have no interest in the karmic anymore. Can they come back around? And you're going to be like, dude, you should be already out of that situation before you come towards me. I feel like it may even make the situation worse if they don't tell the truth first. I, I feel like they're not going to get another chance, okay? I'm I'm getting I I just have this feeling that they're gonna blow this because you know they're they're getting their confidence to come towards you but they're too afraid to tell the karmic how they feel and that they want out. I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. I'm always here for you. No, they're not. Where are they? You know what I mean? I'm not the same person. I feel like this person wants to always be there for you now. You know, they want to change. They want to be somebody that you can um, believe in and trust. You are so beautiful inside and out. This person thinks you're very beautiful, collective. Please understand that I need space right now. So they may be asking you to be understanding they want you to compromise they want you to give them more time no this isn't going to buy them more time the universe is fighting for our souls to be together it's like they're saying please just please understand i need time right now to break free from the karmic right and and then they're going to say but the universe wants us to be together well you know no they're not coming in right and there's not going to be any compromising and I don't see you waiting any longer for this person. And see, they're saying, I will take action soon. Please believe in me. Yeah, no. Um, they want you to wait longer. I know that we're spiritually, spiritually connected. I'm secretly obsessed with you. Please give me a second chance. But see, this person is coming in and asking for more time. More time for what? More time for them to just open up and speak their truth. More time to um, tell this karmic that it's over. They're, when this person comes in, they're not coming in single collective. They're going to have to turn around and go right back home again quickly because they're being monitored. So, you know, I feel like they're going to come in and blow this chance. They're going to ask you to wait longer. Because they haven't broken free free yet from that karmic situation. Situation.